CleanLab Studio is an AI platform that can help you automatically find and fix issues in your dataset. Improving the quality of your data and producing a corrected version of your dataset leads to more reliable models and analytics. Tabular data is an arrangement of information which can consist of many data types like numeric and text, typically in rows and columns. CleanLab Studio supports upload of tabular data via common formats like CSV and JSON, as well as directly from a database. In this video, we will focus on tabular data, but it's good to know that Studio works on many modalities like image, text, and audio as well. Let's take a look at our dataset, which is a collection of student grades in tabular format, which may suffer from some data entry mistakes. Here we have the student ID, exam 1, 2, and 3, a notes section, and a final letter grade, which we will be using as a label column. Notice how we have a mix of numeric and string types, which can be tricky to train a model on. Luckily, CleanLab Studio handles this for you automatically. For those of you wanting to fix issues with your tabular data, CleanLab Studio offers a few ways to upload your data. The easiest way is to upload via the web interface directly. You also have the option to use the command line, URL, or the Python API. Support for additional upload flows is available for enterprise customers. We are using a small CSV, so let's upload from our computer by selecting a file. We see here that Studio has inferred that this is tabular data, as well as all of the feature and data types. Verify that they are all correct and click Confirm. This screen shows us a preview of our data with the selected data types. Make sure everything looks okay and click Create Project. It's time to change your dataset into a clean set. First, make sure tabular is selected. Then, select the name of the column that contains a label. If you've already trained a model and have predicted probabilities, you can upload them here. Otherwise, we recommend using the regular model as it will produce the most accurate results. If time is not in your favor, you can use a fast one. Awesome, we're one step closer to cleaner data. Sit back and relax while CleanLab trains machine learning models to detect label issues using algorithms invented by our scientists. You'll also get an email notifying that your project is ready. You'll know your project is ready when the status says ready for review. It looks like CleanLab has inferred that this dataset contains 167 label issues, 38 ambiguous examples, and no outliers or initially unlabeled examples. Note that the label errors, ambiguous examples, and outliers are algorithmically inferred, which means they probably aren't perfect, but generally super helpful. We'll see in the next step how to utilize Studio to help you fix them. The project view contains many powerful tools and added metadata to help you resolve all the issues that may exist. Each example from the original dataset is represented here, ranked in an increasing order by their label quality score. The black header denotes which columns existed in the original dataset, while the blue header denotes columns that CleanLab computed. The suggested column provides you with a label that CleanLab predicted to be most accurate. The corrected column displays a label that has been chosen after correction. The issues column shows which issue type applies to that example. The quality score estimates how confident CleanLab is that the given label is actually correct. It ranges between 0 and 1, with values near 0 indicating examples which are potentially mislabeled. Finally, the action column describes how each issue has been resolved or unresolved if it's not been modified yet. Before you dive into cleaning, a great place to start is the analytics page. Here, Studio provides us with visual representations of label distributions and suggested corrections. In the first chart, we see that the label issues are most prevalent with students whose recorded grade is F. In the next plot, it's easy to see that the most common issue is a D grade given to what Studio believes to be a B grade. This probably means that quite a few students were given grades of D when they should have been actually awarded a B. You can use these graphs to help you gain an understanding of possible issues in your data. Now that we've learned about some of the issues in our data, let's use the filter tab to actually see them. The graph showed us some problems with the B and D graded examples. So let's set the given filter to D and suggested filter to B. Looking at the filtered examples, it's now quite clear that many of the students that should have gotten Bs were actually given Ds. You could use the filter tab to select specific subsets of your data that you would like to take a closer look at. Up to this point, we haven't actually improved any of our data. To begin, let's look at the resolver window, which provides us with everything we need to start fixing labels. 
For each example, Studio provides you with the given and suggested labels, the quality score, and whether or not that example is an issue. To begin fixing issues, select the action that you determine is best for each example. You have the ability to keep the given label, use the Studio suggested label, or choose any of the other classes via the relabel option. You can also select Exclude this example if you'd like, which is one way to handle examples that shouldn't be included at all. In this case, it could be a student that transferred and is no longer in the class. It looks like this student had a great year, getting 97, 81, and 100 on their exams and 10 bonus points for great participation. This student clearly should have gotten an A, which is exactly what CleanUp suggested, even though they were wrongly given an F. Just click on the correct label to make the correction. On the other hand, this student cheated on one of their exams, which resulted in them getting a zero. They were mistakenly given an A when they should have received an F. If you're a keyboard pro, you can also use the indicated shortcuts to speed up the correction process. Great job so far. We've corrected a few problems manually. To speed up our cleaning, we can use the Clean Top K feature. Select the icon at the bottom and select Auto Fix. Next, enter how many data points you want automatically corrected to the CleanLab suggested label. Note that this will never override your manually corrected labels. Let's auto fix the top 25 label issues. Another way to speed up the process is with batch corrections. This is a great feature to use in combination with the filter tab. For example, let's find all the students that were unfairly given F when they should have been given an A. Set the given and suggested filters here at the top. Once you verify a group of students you want to correct, simply click and drag to change the grades from Fs to As all at the same time. If you want to change all of the filtered examples at the same time, you can do so via the Clean Top K button and select Label. These methods are much faster than using edit mode, but might not be as accurate. You should use your knowledge of the data compared with the analytics and filter tabs to determine the balance of manual and automatic corrections necessary. Now that we're happy with our newly clean data, let's export it from Studio by selecting Export Clean Set. Here, we could use the command line if we desired, but we'll stick to the interface for now. All we have left to do is to select an export configuration. The default setting will retain all the rows except those in which we selected to exclude. Custom allows for you to export a subset of your data using the filter tab we used earlier. You can also export everything if you'd like. Once you make your selection, click export and your newly curated clean set will arrive in your downloads folder. Congrats on your improved data. You can now use your auto-corrected dataset in place of your original dataset and get better models without changing any existing modeling code. Here's an example of model improvement using CleanLab Studio corrected data. If you prefer, CleanLab Studio can handle all of the ML for you too in a few clicks. This will deploy a new version of the same cutting edge auto ML system used to detect data issues, this time trained on your auto-corrected dataset. Click Deploy Model at the bottom and name your model. Once it's done training, click View Model and then Model Details to see all of the machine learning models trained for you automatically and their held data accuracy. To make predictions on new data, simply click Predict New Labels and upload your CSV file. You can also do all of this programmatically via the Python API. CleanLab Studio allows users to utilize state-of-the-art machine learning and error detection algorithms without ever writing one line of code. The easy-to-use interface allows users from all technical backgrounds to efficiently and accurately correct label errors in nearly any dataset. While this demo showed you how to use Studio for tabular data, you can also use this application for text data and image data in pretty much the same way. You can also access the cutting-edge ML models CleanLab used to assess your data. With one click, these models can be deployed such that you can use them to make predictions on new data. Inference can be done via a REST API or in the Studio app itself with zero code. To get started today, go to cleanlab.ai 